We've all been there. It's 28 degrees, 3.15 a.m. Your boots are near the fire pit. Your pants are somewhere. And your toastiest extra layer is in the car. That's exactly why we cooked up the caboose. The brilliant hybrid shelter that invites your vehicle and all its tempting contents to the party. It's a four-person tent with headroom that also hooks up to your ride, which means anytime access to whatever you're hauling, plus the freedom to lock up tight when you head for the trail. Let's get this train rolling. First, lay out your tent body and stake out the corners. Remember, flat surfaces are best. Next, assemble your poles, making sure each segment is fully seated. Set the longest and shortest pole aside. We'll come back to them later. Lay the two equal sized poles across the tent body, insert the poles into the quick corner fabric sleeves, and repeat. X marks the spot. Now clip your X poles into the tent body. You'll need a buddy for this next part. First, take the long pole, slide it under your X poles, just above the front grommets. Then clip the center clips. As you and your buddy lift the X poles, gently flex the long pole and slip the ends into the grommets. Now secure the remaining clips. Then drape the rain fly over the tent body with the zippered vestibule situated over the front door. Next, take the shortest pole, step into the vestibule, slide the pole into the sleeve and secure it into the grommets above the front door. Secure the hook and loops to the pole. Connect the corners and snug it all up. Now stake it down and guy it out. When your car's on the road, you've got a fully functional freestanding tent with a massive vestibule. But connect the caboose to your personal party train and you'll get an extra rumpus room on wheels. All aboard! After kicking your bestie out of the tent, carefully back your vehicle up to the front vestibule. Put her in park, set the parking brake, turn the engine off and allow your brakes to cool. Now. Fully unzip your Vesti Bestie and drape the awning over the rear of your vehicle. Use the straps to secure the awning to your rear wheels. Just feed the strap through the spokes and snug that sucker up. The caboose's sidewalls are ready for any weather. Leave them back to let the sun in or put them up to keep the elements out. Head it out, put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Our awesome shark mouth duffel lets you work it without all the hard work. The caboose. Awesome on its own and killer when connected. Kelty, follow you further. The Dometic Tailgater Air is an inflatable awning for vehicles with a rear tailgate. Experience reliable performance and simple setup with the airframe technology. The Tailgater Air features such highlights as airframe technology, weather shield 68 day material, multi point inflation, and climate control. The new range of Dometic inflatable tents and awnings are extremely quick and easy to set up thanks to the airframe technology. Durable air poles are inflated individually via external inflation points for the simplest setup and take down. Super lightweight Weather Shield 68D material is highly weather resistant. High quality fly screens have been designed for Australian conditions for increased ventilation. The wet weather entrance provides sheltered access to the awning. The large oversized doors act as multiple entry points and regulates interior temperature of the awning. The Tailgater Air is universally fit for vehicles, thanks to its ability to adjust the height and width of the connecting awning tunnel. The Tailgater Air is easy to set up. Remove the awning from the bag and place it on top of the footprint. Using the pegs, securely anchor the awning to each corner, then locate the inflation valve cap. Starting from the front of the awning, attach either the double action pump or gale pump to the nozzle and start inflation. Pump up each air pole to between 7 and 8 PSI. The PSI gauge is included on both pumps. Check the tent is fully inflated and ensure all inflation valve caps are secured on tight. Then inflate the lateral air pole and place it along the center, inside the awning. Slot together the fiberglass poles and thread through the canopy sleeve. To assemble the canopy, place the end of the pole into the cup located at each of the pole sleeve. 
repeat and do on the other side of the awning. Commence pegging down each of the guy lines and tightening the blue quick pitch pegging points. Open the vehicle access door and reverse your vehicle until the bumper touches the lower section of the awning. Lift the tunnel over the rear of the car and attach the top of the tunnel to your vehicle. You can either attach the webbing strap with side release buckle around the roof bars or use the long straps to attach the hooks to the windscreen wipers. Attach the straps on the side of the awning tunnel to the vehicle bodywork, either the wheel arch or under the rear bumper. When setup is complete, you can open the door and windows to improve ventilation and to reduce condensation. The Dometic inflatable tent is as easy to pack down as it is to set up. Remove the two canopy poles and lateral air pole from inside the awning. Remove your guy lines and unscrew the inflation valve caps to release air from each air pole. Once deflated, unbuckle all straps attached to your vehicle. The Dometic Tailgater Air for adventures big or small. Listen, we know you're into some shady stuff, and we support it. But whatever you're up to underneath there, we're pretty sure it doesn't involve bugs. Enter the Waypoint Screenhouse Tarp, a self-contained party porch for your car kit. Thanks to a semi-universal vehicle attachment system with deployable mesh walls, you can use the Waypoint Screenhouse Tarp with just about any vehicle, giving you more weather protection than a traditional awning and a sturdy A-frame that's safe to leave up overnight. First, park your vehicle on flat ground and allow your brakes to fully cool. Drape the short end of the tarp over the rear of the vehicle. Extend straps to the rear wheel, loop around one spoke, and snug up as needed. Assemble and set the main pole in its grommet. Next, pull the tarp away from the vehicle, making sure you have space for your guy lines. Then, secure the center guy line. Attach the shorter guy lines and stake out as needed. Pro tip. With the waypoint, practice makes perfect. You can refine your tarp's tension using the upper tension straps or by moving the stakes and guy lines along the way. And, while you can do this alone, it's easier and more fun with a friend. Speaking of tension, you know what reduces tension in any camp? Fewer bugs! So, once you've gotten your tarp body just how you like it, simply drop the side screens, stake them out, zip them up, and BAM! There's even an adjustable bumper closure system to make sure those little buggers don't sneak in the back door. The Waypoint Screenhouse Tarp, designed to keep the critters out and the cool kids in. Kelty, follow your further.
With the Dometic Hub, the possibilities are endless. Pitch free standing at the beach, on site with your camper van, or as a valuable shelter when off-roading with your 4x4 or SUV. The Dometic Hub includes highlights such as Single Point Inflation, Weather Shield Pro Fabric, Quick Pitch Guyon. Start with getting the hub out of its bag and fix the four corners. Each corner is highlighted with an orange webbing strap. Now close off all deflation valves located at the bottom of each upright, so no air can escape during inflation. Locate the inflation point and insert the pump. Using the hand pump supplied, begin to inflate the airframe. We recommend you fully inflate the hub to 9 psi. You may need to lift the hub to help take its shape. Alternatively, you can use the Dometic Gal Pump. Simply insert the extra on cable into a 12 volt power supply. Now you can set the pressure required using the digital display and the pump will switch off once the hub is fully inflated. Now the hub is fully inflated, remove the pump and secure the top cover of the inflation point. Otherwise, the hub may lose some pressure over a few days. Next, fix the quick pitch guy lines by tensioning the lower strap and pegging. Then, tension the strap which connects to the side of the hub. Finally, secure the hub further by connecting the storm strap supplied and pegging. Start by positioning the vehicle closer to the hub, making sure it's central to the opening. Next, attach the SUV tunnel by zipping the panel to the hub. Begin with zipping the panels from the base. Next, secure the two lower pegging points either side of the vehicle. Finally, carefully place the vehicle suction clamps on the rear window. Then, attach the adjustable webbing strap to the connection tunnel and then to the clamp. The Dometic Hub can be customised for each adventure with a number of optional extras. These include sleeping annex, PVC door panel, mesh door panel, footprint ground sheet. Whether you're away for an afternoon, day or a weekend, start your adventure sooner and experience more with Dometic.